Hey, what's good y'all? So in today's video, we're going to break down how to get the rebirth, spawn location, and shirtless option in 2K23. So first location, Ronnie 2K will be standing outside the dumpster by the north side Knights Park. Why? Because, because he's trash. All right, so the second location, he'll be by the embellished store by the West Mall Station. This is how you unlock the spawn location. I'm gonna tell you, it helps a lot, bro. So you have to be a 75 overall. It helps you travel around the city a lot faster. Third location, he'll be outside the 2K Sports Building. This is how you get the shirtless option. And for the final location, he'll be standing by the giant snake statue outside the South City Vipers Park. You cannot miss it, bro. This is how you get all these options. And congratulations, you now have the rebirth. All right, so let's get right into the rebirth build. So you start off with 25 bass points that you can put on your build, at a, and you start off at a 90 overall. So drop a like, sub to the channel if y'all are new, man. We're going to start off with a small forward build with the right hand, and lucky number 24. And pay attention to this, y'all. So look, we're going to give ourselves an 80 driving layup. The reason for that is so we can unlock the circus layup package. Every build that I make, I try to give myself an 80 driving layup for that package because it gives a lot of space. It's like an ankle breaker and you can pass out of it if you get double teamed in the paint. So we're going to give ourselves an 85 three-pointer. Um, we'll play around the shot a little bit. We're going to go with a 70 midi and an 85 three-pointer. That gives us 18 shooting badges. I'm probably going to go back up to that later. I want to see if I can get a little bit more than 18. But for now, we're going to move on. So we want to get a pretty good interior defense. So in order to unlock clamps when it comes to the perimeter defense we need to have a, a perimeter defense of 92 that gives you gold clamps so that's all we need um max block we're gonna give ourselves a 74 steel so we can unlock glove on bronze all right so let's go back to the playmaker so with a 92 ball handle we get all the good dribble moves like the trey young the damian lillard etc 89 speed with ball is pretty valid so we got a 99 stamina 87 acceleration bro so we're looking pretty good so far i would like to see if i can get a little bit more defensive badges but right now we need to play with this pass accuracy right now 67 is not gonna cut it we at least need a 70 i'm gonna tell you you want to have at least a 70 pass accuracy at least to be somewhat competitive when it comes to passing because this year your pass accuracy matters if you have anything lower than the 70 you will notice the difference especially in my career when it comes to trying to throw those lobs for uh, getting your playmaking badge so with that being said now we're looking at an 88 acceleration now understand your acceleration this year is your speed boost that's your speed boost this year it's not necessarily speed with ball it's your acceleration i don't care i still want to have a good speed with ball so right now this is what we looking like we rocking with 12 finishing badges 18 shooting 23 playmaking and 17 defensive badges so we looking pretty good man we got an all-around bid here so take a look at the badges real quick we got core playmaking badges we do unlock core shooting badges and we have core defensive badges enough points to get what we need and also understand this once you start my career when you become a starter which i'll tell y'all is easy to do you can do it in one day you will unlock this right here four badge points that you can put in any category finishing shooting defense or playmaking so understand with this badge the way to count is if you want to tweak it you have the option to do that once you become a starter in my career so definitely play my career so you can get that option is very valid all right so moving on to the takeover limitless range i've been hearing is the wave bro i've been hearing that is the wave to go so we're gonna try that on double we're gonna go double limitless range takeover my last build i used double anchor breaking shots the link to that will be in the description i put a little tab up there for y'all as well so what we got miles bridges andrew wiggins and who the heck is this i don't even know this nigga. all right so we got a two-way three-point shot created all right so now let's get into the badges bro so we're gonna put this sucker up to 99 all right so start off with finishing this is what i wind up going with acrobat uh, giant slayer aerial wizard and fearless finisher i don't have any core badges so i didn't put any at all because i couldn't shooting badges i started rocking with this right here some of these badges i already have on my first build so i got a good chance to see how they work so i'm liking it i'm gonna tell you clutch shooter and volume shooter this Keep your eye on those two badges. Playmaking badges, hyperdrive is the way, but I can't get it on Hall of Fame just yet. But that, trust me, I will. But for now, a quick first step will be on Hall of Fame. Handles for days and killer combos. Defensive badges, ankle breaker, uh, ankle braces, off ball pass. Um, 
just a couple of here and there on the defensive badges just to kind of get me there. But what we really want, what we really want is to get clamps, bro. So we're going to try to, we're going to maneuver these defensive badges real quick so we can get this tier three clamp. So we're going to try to at least get it on silver. Um, I'll probably try to go for gold, but for right now, for the sake of badges, we got it on silver. So this right here is the build. We have a two-way three-point side creator, bro. Literally, I have these same two builds on 2K22. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, sub to the channel if you are new, comment your build down below, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.